Hey guys, it's Amy from the Crazy Craft Lady. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be bringing one of my favorite home decor and DIY trends to a dollar store craft with these fun buffalo check painted items. I got my trays at the Dollar Tree with the fall section that's like this green metallic I think they come in orange and red as well it doesn't really matter what uh, color you get because you're gonna paint over it anyway so I already went ahead and I went over this with just a quick coat of white spray primer I did it on the front and the back I did it a little bit thicker on the back um, but you just need like a thin coat just so that your craft paint will adhere and then you just need some like acrylic craft paint. It doesn't really matter what. I'm going to use for my base a combination of white and cream. And then for my uh, pattern, you need like a, like on this pumpkin, I did like a, a lighter sage green and then a darker hunter green. For this one, I'm going to do blue. So you need a light blue and a dark blue. And I actually just, I actually went through, I had a couple of navy colors and I did little swatches here and I actually chose this for my lighter and that for my darker. So the first thing you wanna do is you just want to cover the whole thing in a base coat of like cream and white. There we go. You may have to do more than one coat to get complete coverage. I'm not doing just like a solid white or a solid cream. I did the same thing on this one. I just don't want it to be as stark of a con contrast, I guess, between the white and the green, or in this case, the white and the blue. And so by mixing these two colors, um, it just won't be as, you know, as stark of a contrast, and it'll be a little bit uh, softer. I've got my first coat down. I'm going to let this completely dry and come back and do a second coat. Now my second coat of my white cream mixture has completely dried. I'm pretty happy with the coverage. It doesn't need to be completely perfect. And now the next thing you want to do is take like a pencil. I'm just going to use like a fine tip sharpie and you want to draw out your grid it's going to be a little trickier doing on this surface than it will be on uh, something flat like I had to do it on the round pumpkin but at least I had like the guide of like these ridges to follow arms so I'm just gonna go ahead There we go, I've got it all sketched out. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and paint stripes all the way across this whole, this whole tray. Just take like a medium wide brush. I'm gonna start on this one because this is where you can see with my dotted line I messed up a little bit. So I wanna be sure to cover that. And I'm just gonna go in and paint stripes all the way across this whole, this whole tray. And then I went ahead and with the same shade of navy blue, painted stripes in the opposite direction as well. All right, and now that uh, I've let this all dry, it's pretty dry to the touch, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my darker shade of navy and I'm gonna use my same brush, I just washed it off, and then I'm gonna just gonna paint on the intersections where the lines um, cross each other and fill it in with this darker shade of navy. All right, 
right, now that I've let this completely dry, I'm gonna come in with a little bit of metallic paint. I thought I'd try, I have this um, Martha Stewart Crafts metallic copper. The color is copper. Um, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do that on the underside of this tray. And I think I'm also gonna paint like the stem of my little pumpkin copper as well. I think it'd be just like a fun, a fun little accent color. It might take a few coats of coverage, but that's okay. And that's why I ended up doing, like there's so many coats of paint on this. I didn't need a ton of primer, but I did a thicker coat of primer on, on the back. So I'm just gonna get painting here. So it took a good two and a half, almost three coats to get the coverage that I wanted with this copper. Um, once this dries, then I'm gonna flip this thing over and spray the whole thing um, with this clear satin coat just to protect it. And uh, then I'll be done.